Hey everyone, this is Sam, and I'm going to show you how to get 8 speed boosts in Mario Kart 8, because just holding down the gas pedal won't win you any races, or help you beat the time trials. The first speed boost you should never ever miss is right at the starting line. You have to time this one perfectly to get a boost. Watch the numbers closely as they fall into place. As soon as the number 2 drops to the bottom, hold down the acceleration button. You will blast forward ahead of everyone else who doesn't know how to boost. Note that if you are a bit early and hit the button while the 2 is still in the air, you will spin out, so beware. Next up, ramps. Pretty much any time you catch air in Mario Kart 8, you can get a speed boost. Hit jump as soon as you leave the ramp to do a trick and get a small speed boost. Another trick that many players don't realize at first is that you don't need a ramp to do a trick boost. You can use an environmental hazard, like the shockwave from Bowser's Fist in Bowser's Castle, or the music notes in 3DS Music Park. Just hit jump right when you leave the ground to get a boost. Mario Kart 8 tracks feature zero-G sections where your boring old wheels turn into Back to the Future-like hover wheels. When in zero-G, any cart you hit and certain glowing posts on the road will give you a speed boost. Watch out for drivers scoring collision boosts off of you, though, as they can bump you right off the road. These next two tricks are oldies but goodies. First up, drafting. When you drive right behind another cart, you might see some speed lines form in the air. Maintain this position for about 3 seconds and you'll blast past the other character in one of the game's better speed boosts. You can get two levels of boost while power sliding as well. This is the toughest trick to master for new carters. Basically, the longer you slide, the bigger the boost. Jump and initiate a slide way before you enter a turn and watch your wheel sparks closely. When they turn red or blue, let go for your boost. It's not always worth the boost, however, sometimes you just want to slide to conquer a corner. Wondering what the heck coins actually do? Well, each coin you collect boosts your overall speed. Increasing your top speed, especially in straightaways, can make all the difference. Plus, for each coin you collect, you get the tiniest little speed boost, even after you max out at 10 coins. The final speed boost tip we have is just to steal a boost from someone else. When you see a driver with three mushrooms or the crazy eight circling their cart, you can physically collide with an item to get its effects. Just don't hit a bomb. Oh, and if you see mushrooms or other items on the track, you can run over them to grab them. That's all we have for Sneaky Speed Boost for now. Please let us know what other cool secret stuff you found in Mario Kart 8, and check out many, many more guides to shortcuts, unlockable carts, and much more in IGN's Mario Kart 8 wiki.